Hey there folks, it's Antar, and man, it feels like forever since I last did a narration. And that's actually not untrue, it's been about two weeks. Uh, those 14 battles that I just uploaded to my channel a day after day were all recorded ahead of time. I didn't want to get into a situation where I was like, yeah, I'm going to upload 14 battles in a row to my channel, and then I would crap out at like 12. That would just have been embarrassing, and so I wanted to make sure that it was all done. So yeah, I actually have not done a narration in about two weeks even though you saw one up on my channel either yesterday or the day before so anyway triples battle my opponent is a random wi-fi opponent um japanese guy looks like and he's running a team of what i would consider ou quote unquote pokes even though there are, again there are no tours uh, tiers for doubles and triples uh, Musharna gets crunched, it's not going to die, and I'm going to be able to get up my Trick Room this turn, it looks like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scald that Archeops, it's going to nearly one-hit KO, but basically because of Defeatist, oh, and Burn, that's just adding insult to injury. So because of Defeatist and Burn, it's basically crippled. My Tangrowth is going for Hidden Power Ice against his... Haxorus, because that thing is such a huge threat, and I now managed to get off my Trick Room, so I'm like, yeah, this battle's basically over. I was actually very impressed, I mean, as you can tell from the fact that I'm uploading this battle, my opponent never disconnected on me. Part of the reason is probably because I go for unrated battles exclusively, and there's really no point to disconnecting in an unrated battle except for to spite your opponent. The other thing is I just think I'm up against a classier class of people. Yeah, so my, uh, how, someone's power wasn't this, it must have been, uh, his Pharaoh's Thorns. But anyway, I managed to take out his Haxorus this turn, and that's excellent. I guess it was probably targeting my Lantern. I don't know what was going on. Lantern's gonna go ahead and Scald. Uh, I will, I'm not sure why I would have gone against the Archives, it was so crippled anyway. Really, I should have targeted that Pharaoh Thorn. I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna take it out. I, well, that's not true, I have... Uh, one Pokemon with a Fire-type move and one Pokemon with a Fighting-type move. They might actually be the same Pokemon now that I think about it. But I guess I probably have things that can take out that uh, Ferrothorn. Um, but as it is, that's going to be the hugest threat on his team. I'm going to go ahead and send out Steelix now. Um, just predicting my opponent to use Power Whip against my uh, Lantern. Mushrana's going to get faked out, which doesn't matter. I mean, it's the damage is done. Why would you do that? I mean, I'm not going to... Oh, I guess actually that saved that... Uh, I guess it saved that Mind Shao's life, because otherwise I would have gone for Psychic this turn. But all it did it's, is stalled out another turn. Um, <laughs> T-Wave? Why? It's in a Trick Room. And he's also lucky that I didn't have something... I, well, I knew he probably figured I wouldn't have Synchronize. I mean, Telepathy in a doubles battle is kind of kind of goes without saying. I'm going to go ahead and send out Gallade here because while his Ferrothorn is asleep uh, and so it doesn't pose that much of a threat, I'm still going to want to take it out sooner rather than later. So now next turn I do manage to get off the Psychic and KO his uh, Mind Shao and that's really excellent. Mind Shao is so frail and in Trick Room you're kind of screwed. I'm going to go for the Gyro Ball here against his Lopany. That's going to do a shit ton, because, pardon my language, because uh, I do carry the power weight, which has my speed. That's excellent. Uh, someone's ice punching me. Uh, yeah, that would probably be... And yeah, it gets the freeze hacks. I'm like, oh man, that's kind of lame. And I completely forgot. This battle becomes really, really embarrassing because I completely forget that Lantern runs heal bell. I was like, oh no, I have nothing to unfreeze my Glade, and so it's just going to have to sit there until it unfreezes. But I could have sent out my Lantern at any point, gotten it heal belt, and it would have been excellent. I just feel like an idiot. Uh, Ferrothorn is going to wake up, going to go for the Power Whip, it's going to hit Steel. He actually would have been better off targeting my Glade IMO. Glade is frozen, and there's only a 20% chance of it dethawing on any given turn. He's got the Fire Gem on his Rapidash, it's going to hit my Steelix for super effective damage, and I think it, yeah, it actually won hit Chaos, so uh, it's actually a good thing that he went for the power-up, because otherwise my uh, Sturdy would have been intact. But so yeah, uh, Steelix is actually probably the biggest threat to his team, and it's now gone, although now the Trick Room is over, so yeah. Gonna go ahead and send out Rotom here. Since the Trick Room is down, I figure I might be faster uh, than his Pokemon. Definitely not faster than Rapidash. Uh, get taken to pretty low health with that Mega Horn, but thanks to the fact that it's not Stab, I'm okay. Go for the Discharge here, just for the damage on all of his pokes. Didn't want to be uh, the lower accuracy of Blizzard. I managed to take out his um, 
whatchamacallit, Rapidash, and his uh, Ferrothorn is just hanging in there. I believe that's his last Pokemon. It's going to go for Payback here. I think that's going to hit Rotom, and I don't think it takes it. No, it doesn't actually take it out even close. No Parahex here. I get off my Trick Room. That is excellent, and I mean, this battle is over. Uh, he's down to one Pokemon. I don't think I've lost... I think I've lost one Pokemon on my side, and so now it's just a matter of, okay, well, when is Mushar uh, when is um, Mikhail, my Gallade, going to dethaw and KO with a super effective Drain Punch? And it's just kind of annoying. It's like, why are you still frozen? Come on, Hax Gods, that's totally not cool. I go for the Pain Split here to try to give Gallade a little bit more health. But that didn't really do anything. That was actually kind of stupid. I'm going to go ahead and call Rotom back. I send out Tangrowth because, again, I have forgotten completely that my that I carry the Heal Bell on my Winter. I mean, that's kind of the point on this team. It's a Cleric, in addition to being an awesome Pokemon. In other regards, Power Whip is going to take out Gallade, and I'm just like, is stupid, stupid, stupid me. Now I send out Lantern to replace him, and this is when I realize, when I look at his moveset, I'm like, wait a minute, why do I carry Heal Bell? Why is that Heal Bell there? And the positioning is really cracked, because I really can't do anything, well, I carry the Ice Beam with Lantern, so it's not actually the worst positioning, but it's, this is just ridiculous. So Power Whip is going to hit, and it's going to hit really hard. I don't think it one-hit KOs. No, I survived with a little bit of HP, so hopefully there'll be some hacks and uh, I won't get KO'd the next turn. Oh no, I get I put him to sleep, so that's excellent. So as long as he doesn't wake up from sleep on the next turn, hopefully I can um, prevent him from getting any more ridiculous KOs. I go for the Scald here? Why the hell would I go for Scald? Maybe hoping for Burn, but why would I do that? I, I am not playing well. Okay, I think the bottom line here is that at this point in the battle, I was like, my opponent's down to one Pokemon. I'm working on other those stuff. I don't have to be paying much attention. I sent out Rotom here, and there's actually a strategy, and this is this is a this was a bad battle in so many respects. Just so many things went wrong. Go over the hidden power ice here because it is regularly effective. Uh, Lantern again goes for the Scald. Why did I go for Scald and not Ice Beam? Why, 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 why? I have no idea. Even well, no, T-Bolt would not have been a better move. No, T-Bolt would have been a better move, yeah. So I go for the Discharge here, which only is going to hit Tangrowth. I thought that, well, I'm supposed to be carrying a Recharge Cell on my Tangrowth, but I checked later, and at some point I took it off. I have no idea why. It's not running any item, and that was really weird. But yeah, it was supposed to have a um, Recharge Cell, which would have boosted attack. Although I'm actually using special attacks, so I don't know what the purpose of that would have been. Anyway, after a battle where everything went wrong, I do manage to take out his last Pokemon after what was a ridiculously long amount of time. So, hope you enjoyed that ridiculous battle, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge!